The huge red circles on the minimap are groups of at least 9 players. Just because the circles are red doesn't mean that the players are hostile. If the hostile counter is 9 or above, chances are that the horde is dangerous. If the numbers don't match, it could be just a guild group fighting for territory or just passing through. You can use transportation in major cities to get from one city to another instantly. It'll cost silver based on the amount of weight and items on your character. You can remove your weapons, armor, and items and store them in your bank so you're completely naked. Then you can freely travel to each city for free to check the prices of items before you travel across the continent to sell them in that city. Fame gained towards laborer journals will spill over to new journals if you have more than one in your bag. This way, you won't miss out on any journal progress. Tier 5 gathering nodes take over 20 minutes to respawn. That's why it seems that they're all picked over in most blue and yellow zones. You may need to head to more dangerous red zones to find a steady supply of tier 5 spawns. I recommend you bring a few friends to watch your back, and don't stay too long to minimize the ganking by other players and risk losing everything you've gathered. Check to be sure you're feeding your crafting station their favorite food. You can check their favorite food by clicking on the station worker's portrait here. You'll gain a nutrition bonus so your stations won't starve as quickly. Remember that crafting up to tier 3 in a station won't deplete the food supply. Fame gained towards crafting masteries on the destiny board won't spill over to a new mastery when the previous bar fills. We aren't sure if this is a mistake or intended. Until we can be sure, try not to craft too much at once and risk losing fame towards your next mastery point. Riding animals have qualities as well. This decreases how much they weigh in your inventory and increase the weight they can carry. Make sure you're always growing some kind of crop on your island. Even if you don't plan on cooking, crops sell for a lot of silver on the auction house. It's a guaranteed income every day if you keep up with your farms. You can usually buy seeds cheaper than the farming merchant price on the auction house. I know we've said it before, but invest silver into gold. On day two, gold was worth 18 silver. Today, we just reached 200 silver. I can sell all of my gold and make 2 million silver if I wanted to right now. The price is only going to go up, so invest now. Remember, you can use your learning points, or LP, at 30% of the total fame required to level your mastery. This will allow you to gain higher masteries faster and more efficiently. A book symbol will appear on the destiny board tracker when you can use your learning points. And don't spread your learning points too thin. Be sure you're using them to progress the same destiny board branches. You'll see more benefits far earlier than the guy who spins them all over the board.